is there a difference between, let's say, northern, um, you know, this region versus southern this region or the different areas? Can you help us understand the variety within the region? It's not just all going to be the exact same snow ice look, correct? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So basically, uh, I just was walking through an area called Transphere. I mean, they all have they all have names. Uh, they all they, we've we've got we've gone very far with naming all this stuff and, and and making sure that each region is has its own character. But Transphere is specifically more green. So it's it's there are there is no other place on the whole uh, on the whole level that looks like that, and it has a unique style. It has, I mean, it. it I'm not gonna not gonna ruin it completely, but it's there's there's rocks that have ice embedded into the rocks. You could you could see even when I was running through it, it's very green, it's very lush. The the rivers are actually the streams are actually flowing. The plant life is different uh, because it's in. I mean, I guess you could call it a higher altitude, but at the same time, it's more that it's in like a cave that gets sunlight. So that's kind of leading into what Grant's talking about, where the sun is sort of essential to this level. It's 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 kind of telling the story a little bit. Whereas in something like Abyssal Basin, it's in more of a moonlight, you know, sort of a swampy sort of feel. So we, we, we care less about the sun because a lot of the plants are luminous themselves. So that's where, that's where it's like we already have a natural light source to guide you through the level. But in the caves or something like that, if it was nighttime, it would just be black. And so we'd have to design our way around it to light the actual space. Like, how does this space get lit? Who knows? But we have, as you can see, green and... And these, these rivers will be flowing and all sorts of stuff, just to give you the idea. These, yeah, these will be a combination of rock and ice. So, you know, it'll, it'll be sort of a, a very weird sort of alien style look. And then uh, there is these mountains at the back. These are called the Three Brothers. Uh, these will have a very specific style to them as well. They're, they're, they're sort of this strange pearlescent -y, almost like a almost like an iridescent opal or something like that. You've got over here where these tall spikes are. This is a very specific area that has uh, this. Uh, well, it's a it's a structure that I'm not going to spoil, but it's a it's a it's a structure to do with the game's law. But and then over here we have a maze where you can go in. And so each of these is going to be like one is going to be much more sort of transparent, beautiful glowing ice. Some is like thick snow. Some of it's ice that has cracks and all sorts of stuff. Like this is the frozen court. That's going to have cracky, imagine like a cracked ice lake that you can skate on. It's a bit more like this is going to look like inside of the tunnels. It's going to be a mix of all of them. So yeah, I mean, you're not going to have, uh, you're not going to have a swamp in this area. It still needs to be somewhat uh, tundra <laughs> because that's, that's kind of where we are. But yeah, that's kind of a general idea.